What's going on, guys? And welcome to what is the start of a very ambitious project. Now, uh, this is where this, this might be just I'm just gonna call this the endless playthrough because uh, we're doing an interesting take. This is just Mario Party, and I'm gonna post this this uh, on Saturday. And uh, the gist of what this is is uh, Mario Party's good again now. So uh, yeah, so I have this crazy idea where uh, we're gonna go through all the boards and all the Mario Parties and uh, even the crappy ones. Let's just say at least the home console Mario Parties and. Uh, we're basically going to analyze what exactly went wrong with this franchise as it went on. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk about the handheld Mario parties, or I have no plans to as of now, but, uh, we're just going to talk about the console Mario parties for now. So, like, Mario Party Advance I don't own. Mario Party DS, while a solid game, uh, I can't possibly record it. And the same without a 3DS capture card, and the same thing with the, uh, 3DS Mario parties, but, uh, yeah, we'll essentially do from 1 up to Superstars. Super Mario Party Jamboree is coming out also, so uh, we'll definitely see where this goes. But uh, anyway, we'll start with Mario Party 1. Now, uh, Mario Party 1 definitely has a simple story where they're just arguing, simply arguing over who is better. And uh, there doesn't really like... Um, this is an interesting case because um, even though I personally like this game... I don't personally think it's also aged the best either. Like, I'll get to more why later on, but um, there are some things I like about Mario Party 1 and others I personally do not. And uh, we're going to go into more what this is later. And uh, I guess it's pretty much like, uh, I guess it pretty much takes place. It's pretty much what it is, is that uh, it's like a first game sin where basically. All of its problems got basically corrected in sequels. So, uh, I would say Mario Party 2 and 3 are much far superior games to this. But, uh, even though I have, I would say a lot of my love for this game also is Nostalgia Factor because this was the first Mario Party I ever played. So, uh, yeah, this is the, uh, Mushroom Village, which, uh, would return in, uh, Mario Party Superstars. So, uh, yeah, so every Saturday we're gonna play through a Mario Party board. We're gonna do go in order from... Mario's Rainbow Castle and Mario Party 1 up until the last board of Mario Party Superstars. It's kind of an ambitious project. Now, I should also point out one thing. I am not playing this on the Switch Online. I'm actually playing this on my N64 cart because I have everything unlocked on this. Now, an interesting fact also. When I went to turn this on, it I got a message that said your save data was corrupted and all that, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" And I was like, "Return," and I turned this off. And I went to try to I went to try to reclaim the save data. The save data was back, so it's like this is an old N64 cartridge. So uh, yeah, that was kind of iffy right there. I've never seen that message before either. But uh, anyway, so they're gonna run into the pipe. And this is Mario Party, the first of the kind, and, uh, yes, yeah, so this is essentially Mario's title screen if he wins a, uh, round, so, uh, let's get this started. Now, um, I should also explain one thing. We're gonna go to the bank quickly. Now, I'm gonna cover the boards, I'm gonna cover Minigame Island, and I'm gonna cover the Minigame House, and, uh, that's basically Mario Party 1, so, uh, in a nutshell, but, uh, we're gonna go to the bank really quickly, I'm gonna kinda show you what I'm gonna play with. So uh, we're going to use our items, and uh, these are all unlockables, but I went out of my way to get all the unlockables. Now, um, now uh, the, this is just the normal coin box, and uh, this is the lucky box, and uh, I'm going to play with the casino box. What this is, is bet your coins with this box to get double or half what you actually collect. So we're basically gambling. And this is a warp block, where basically it appears randomly, and we change places with people on the board. This is an event block, where Boo Cooper or Bowser will appear. I'll get more into what they do later. I'm not going to play with these. No Koopa, no Boo. And uh, there's Plus Block, which is uh, amount of, you get the amount of coins that, that you roll. And uh, Minus Block is the opposite. You lose the amount you roll. And uh, Speed Block goes 8 to 10. And uh, Slow Block goes 1 to 3. So yeah, Mario Party 1 is definitely unforgiving. We'll give it that. But uh, now we're gonna now we got this trouble out of the way. We're going to play the first board. And uh, we're going to depart for adventure.
Anyway, so before you venture begins, you're gonna choose game time. Put the game to watch We're gonna play this by ourselves, and uh now um there's six playable characters. There's Mario, Luigi, there's Peach, there's Yoshi, there's Wario, and there's Donkey Kong. So I'd say there's relatively six characters in this game. There's six characters, which is a weak roster, but this is a this is a 25-year-old game, so I guess I'll have to cut it some slack. Waluigi didn't exist yet, and Daisy had only appeared in one other game, and uh yeah, so uh, as for characters, I'll alternate it around, but I'm gonna pick Mario for going first, and uh, I guess we'll uh, pick Luigi, and uh, we'll get Peach, and I'll put Wario in there. I'm gonna set them to hard, basically, to uh, have some amount of challenge, because let's be real, Mario Party and Easy is a fucking joke. Now, uh, we got several boards to play. We got DK Jungle Adventure. We got Peach's Birthday Cake, which would reappear in Mario Party Superstars. We got Yoshi's Tropical Island, use your star power to reunite the two Yoshis. There's Wario's Battle Canyon, use your star power to put an end to the bob on battle. There's Luigi's Enter Room, which to start the mysterious entry when you remember your star power. There's Mario's Rainbow Castle, use your star power to create a beautiful rainbow. And these are two unlockable boards. Bowser's Magma Mountain, use your star power to teach the pesky Bowser lesson. Antros Eternal Star, use your star power to put the big star to the back end again. I'll go more into these two unlockable boards either, but the general consensus says the first board is Mario's Rainbow Castle, and since it's also being, re -re being remade in a Super Mario Party Jamboree, I guess we'll go with this one. Now, um, we're gonna play 20, you have the option of 20, 35, and 20, 50 turns. We're gonna play 20 turns because 35 and 50 turns can go on for a while, so, uh... Doesn't I'm doing this all in one video, but, uh... Anyway, so welcome to Mario's Rainbow Castle. Yippee. Anyway, so let's get a brief demonstration of the board. Now, this also, this reminded me always a lot of Rainbow Ride in Mario 64, but, uh... Welcome, everybody. I am your guide, Koopa Troopa. The castle you see here was a beautiful castle called Rainbow Castle. But the rainbow disappeared, and even the rainbow castle has been forgotten. With your own hands, you must reveal the shining rainbow castle once more. I have one piece of advice, and the castle toad may change places with Bowser. Now they let's decide to turn order. The highest roll basically goes first, and uh, the turn order is, uh, I'm actually going first, which actually rarely happens. And, uh, I am first, and, uh, I like how it's, uh, it's almost the exact order that from left to right, except the uh, warrior and peach are kind of swapped, but, uh, now, you start every game with, uh, 10 coins. Now, um, your goal in Mario Party, which, uh, I think I should say, I don't think I should state the obvious, but, uh, your goal in at least traditional Mario Party is to get the most stars. Now, uh, so I'm gonna go first, because I'm gonna tweak some settings really quick. I'm gonna save after every turn, because I'm playing off my 64 card, and there's a chance to crash, and I'm gonna set message speed to fast. Think about these older Mario parties also, so you have to kind of manually change these settings. Now I got a red space, so that basically loses three coins, takes three coins, and blue space take gain five coins. And this is a mini game, so it's an interesting sales on the first turn. But um Yeah, so I guess the first minigame we saw is Ghost Guest. Now we got an AI. Now, unfortunately, in these older Mario parties, you have to watch the AI play the minigame. So uh this is the final leader of the booze. Now, um tip about this minigame also, you gotta watch the shadows. The first shadow that moves is the correct one, so that's kind of your tip. And, um, he's going, he's going. And he got it right. I've noticed how hard computers get this right a lot of the time, but, uh... So, yeah, unfortunately, the first minigame was fully I should also go into the bonus stars, and, uh... Every Mario Party game is gonna have bonus stars. They're gonna differ very from game, but Mario Party 1 is uh the bonus stars are mini game stars whoever gets the most coins in mini games and uh coin star which is the most amount of coins someone had at any point in the game and the happy star which lands the most happy faces there's those in the space with a question mark and they basically do stuff on the board in this case the happening space basically uh changes from toad to bowser bowser to toad i would prefer coin shower flower but brain game is what we got and uh now, this minigame can be fucking broken, let's just say. You are the crane game crane. Try to grab the prize by pressing it really. If you take someone's coin, take someone in this, they lose a third of their coins. So, that's why this minigame can be particularly broken. However, uh, I'm just gonna go for the chest. 
Now, um, believe it or not, it's actually been a while since I've played Mario Party 1, so I'm a little out of practice, so, uh... I did not mean to pause that. I got a bus, I got a button press. Oh yeah, I got this. So we almost caught up to Luigi and coins. I just got a red space. I would have preferred coin shuffle because that one's also broken. You can get a lot of coins in that one too. Anyway, so um Warp block! Why do I go backwards? At least I, I could have gotten the mini game. Anyway, so um Anyway, this space is a mushroom block. If you get a uh, poison mushroom, you lose the next turn. If you get a if you get a mushroom, you get to roll again. And uh, those space, hold on, those spaces with the estimation points, those are chance time. We'll go more about this is later, but uh, basically they let you bet for coins and stars and all that. And uh, she also gets one of those, and she also gets a poison mushroom. Mario Party 1, I've also noticed, can go by relatively quickly compared to other Mario Parties. Running of the Bulb. Now, uh, this is one of the ones everyone can win. Now, um, and, uh, basically, run the bulb down to the socket. Punch the booth before they grab you. Now, one thing I will give Mario Party 1. It doesn't have the best mini games. however, one thing I will give Mario Party 1... Most of the, I'm pretty sure, a, a good majority of the minigames in this game, if you lose this minigame, it's usually your fault. Like, I don't think there's really a single luck-based game in this game, which, uh, let's be real, when, the later we got in Mario Party is, let's just say, the more emphasis on luck on some of them are. No, so basically, we want to avoid getting Boo. If we get caught by Boo, we get possessed, and you gotta punch the possessed person. You don't want the, uh... If the Boo eats the person with the, uh... With the lamp... With the, uh... What am I trying to say? The bulb? Yeah, they lose. But we won this, so, uh... Finish. So, yeah, everyone gets 10 coins out of this, which I would have preferred Luigi not getting 10 coins out of this. Believe it or not, whenever I lose a more or have trouble in a Mario Party game, Luigi is usually the culprit, so I've not had the best view of Luigi for years because of this. Now, um I I get to play a minigame after all. Um Oh yeah, whack a plan. You can get a ton of points in this one, and uh, my CRT went out. Jump on the plants that come out of the pipes and knock them back down. Get coins for each time you jump on. So yeah, you can get a lot of coins in this mini game. I'm glad I got this. Start. This always reminded me also, since I played through that game also, this also always reminded me of that bonus game of Super Mario RPG where you jump on the Goombas. I guess that's... Oh, I got that crown plan after all. Yeah, you can get a lot of coins this minigame. It's also it's also been a while since I played Mario Party 1 in general, so I might be a little out of practice. It also plays kind of similar music to the one assume Mario RPG. Okay, that's sloppy playing. Can I at least get 30 coins? Okay, I got 32 coins. Yeah, you can get a lot. Losing this minigame is really impossible. Like, uh, unless you, even if you don't try, you might even get one or two coins out of this. But, uh, yeah, we just got 32 coins. So, uh, yeah, let's just get, this minigame alone can give you two bonus stars. Let's just say that. Mario Party 1 is actually a pretty broken game, let's just say. And, uh, he's gonna get Boo. Now, uh, steal, Boo can steal coins for free. And, uh, steal stars for 50 coins. You can steal coins for me, but, uh... You don't actually have to mash the A button in this game, but, uh... He gets two coins out of this. You can get anywhere between 1 and 20 coins when you steal Bo from Boo. And, uh, Luigi and Peach are both out, so that was a quick turn. Oh, I love Mario Bandstand. It was, uh, it was, uh, one person's the conductor, though. I don't like to be in the conductor, but I like being in any other, uh... I get to play the violin. Be part of the bandstand. Conduct the, uh, with, uh, con controls that can play. Instruments with A. Keep time to go to the line, too. 
It's pretty much when like you're in any kind of rhythm section, you have to stand, you have to be in sync with one another, especially the bass, guitar, and drums, which neither of those are instruments, and this is like a uh, classical music. Anyway, so I think I'm doing well. I'm also playing on a CRT, so uh, I should be have uh, more rhythm. The horror computer players are really good at this, though. If you get one wrong, though, you get something, you get shit chucked at you. Finish. I did not win that. I had, like, perfect rhythm. Okay. This game can be a little bitchy on you know, who they decide is the winner, though. Anyway, so who's actually, I think Toad's actually at the front, so, um... Yeah, so it's always gonna be Toad starting off, and if you get a happy face, it changes from Toad to Bowser, so, um... He's gonna go right, and, uh... I almost thought he was gonna play another minigame. There's, there's, there's usually, like, two minigame faces every board, or maybe three, I don't know, but, um... There's a few on this map, but, uh... And, uh, she's gonna not get a red space, and actually, this is the first four-player- Actually, it's the second four-player minigame, but, um, the third, actually, but this is Balloon Burst. This minigame would later appear in Mario Party 2 and Mario Party Superstars. Now, um, hold name by pressing A and Z to blow up the boom. B can use instead of Z. Now, um, I just prefer to use A and Z, because there's a specific, like, pattern I like to use. Believe it or not, I am pretty hard to beat in this minigame, let's just say. Look at that, I'm already far ahead. I didn't mean to pause that. Oh shit, that might throw me off. Oh, the, the thing that I didn't throw me off. I thought the pause might have thrown me off, but uh... Anyway, so we're in a good position right now. This can be a low-scoring board because getting stars is, like, pretty hard on this map. Oh, shit. Do I want to go for chance time? Eh, what the hell? We can show it off. Now, um, you're basically getting... In chance time, you're basically going to bet coins and uh, stars and basically give another person. So, um, we got 20 coins involved. However... Oh yeah, we got 20, we just got 20 coins, and, uh, I'm actually really good at timing this, so get used to seeing a, some easy chance times out of this. We have 93 coins, so, uh, yeah, we're in a very good position. Fortunately, though, we're not gonna be able to steal a star, but, uh... What time number this? Okay, we're, like, quarter of the way over, so, uh... Yeah, you can you can always pause the game to see what turn we're on, but uh, she's also gonna try to she's gonna get a red space. Oh wait, don't no, don't be crying game, don't be crying game. Okay, it's not on there. I broke treachery. Thank God it's not tug of war because I don't want to stick rotate right now. We will get into the stick rotating minigames later, but uh, the person on the tightrope must walk the goal line. Players in the boat can shoot the cans with A. Now I find it hard to lose as the one, but uh. Now, uh, it just depends uh, on certain circumstances, but, uh, we're gonna try to see if we can shoot the princess. You also don't want to shoot your partners. You actually can shoot your partners, but, um... And Peach actually fell off! Yes. Now, also I should point out, this is the first time we've seen it right now, but, uh, this is the only Mario Party game where you can lose coins for losing a minigame. So Peach just lost 15 coins, and also, losing coins counts against you in the minigame star, so, uh... Yeah, if you lose coins in a minigame, that definitely counts against your minigame star standings. I'm gonna steal for- I'll steal from Luigi. And I got four coins out of that. I broke a hundred coins though, and I even like- or only five turns in. And, uh, he's gonna... not get a happy space. Nobody's got a happy space yet, but, uh... 
I don't think I'm about to be able to get that star, but so I, we have to hope Wario reaches there before I do and Luigi. So I can so so once they're toads again, or actually it's gonna be the opposite. Yeah, this is what this is what happening space is doing. Wario currently has the happening star, and she just got a plus block, but uh, she has to move the equivalent of blue space, but uh, and of course since I have a hundred times points, she has it. The AI typically targets the person in first anyway. And she that was not worth the amount I just stole from Luigi, but uh, anyway. Okay, I think I wasn't red. You want to avoid praying game at all costs when you have a lot of mushroom mix-up. Anyway, so move quickly to the same colored mushroom as Toad's flag. If you're too slow, the mushrooms will sink. This one's also in uh, more pretty uh, superstars, so uh, yeah. If you've played that game, you should be familiar with this. But uh, it's basically got a, he's basically got a, now. Uh, I think you can, you can ground pound also. Ground pound is particularly broken because you just let AI ground pound on you and just about, because they get a higher bounce. So because uh, there are many times I've lost this game over the years where like I just bounced up and get my ass in the water and Wario's out. And when you get out, you get dragged by a blue bar. I swear to God, imagine getting taken out by like a giant squid or something like that. It's not the easiest thing thought to have. And Peach is out, so she gets dragged by the blue bar. We didn't see it on screen though, but uh... And Luigi is gonna make it to the platform. Oh shit, oh shit. I, I tried to screw him right there, but, uh... And Luigi is gonna make this faster, and, uh... And he ultimately didn't make it! Another minigame win for us! So yeah, we have 109 coins, and, um... We're not even halfway through this game, so we're definitely in a good position. Blame the fact that we just got whacked by, but even with that, out of, like, 80 coins. Alright, 112, and, uh, one of these guys didn't end up seeing Bowser, but, uh, oh, wait. No, he's getting chance time. No, I don't want to... Chance time is never good. It's not the AI controls it. Alrighty, so, the first contestant is Peach. The second contestant is none other than, um... Oh, screw you, don't. Of course, I have to get the 20 coins I got in chance time. It wasn't even, it wasn't even Peach that took them. Yeah. Anyway, so um, Wario is going to get a plus block and get a happening space. So yeah, he's got two happening spaces right now. So uh. I'd like to get a star though, so I'm in a great position. But uh, we have like 50, we have like 13 turns left. She's gonna play a mini game, so uh, the mini game's not than um, pedal power. One of the stick rotating mini games, but in AI gets it now. Um, now the thing about the stick rotating mini games, these mini games got Nintendo in legal trouble because uh, people would rotate the stick with the palm of their hands. They got blisters and all that. And they actually had to provide gloves for people that bought the game. So uh. Yeah, so it, that's one of the reasons this game didn't get a re-release like actual decades. But nowadays, Nintendo just doesn't care. Just puts the warning on the instruction that the instruction screen and Mario Party are. I mean, they put a warning on the re-release. But uh, yeah. But the thing about this 64 controller is that it's not a very good control stick. Like it's all plastic. Plus, there's there's tip there's the, like little circles on the tip that'll dig into your palms. So uh. The Switch Pro controller, it's not as bad to rotate with the palm, but uh, the 64 controller, yeah, I've gotten many blisters over the years. And Bumper Balls, the one that always ends on a draw. Yeah, I, I always thought this minigame was kind of overrated, let's just say, but uh... Ride your ball and try to bump at the others in the sea. Use control stick to roll around your ball. Yeah, so uh, yeah. I always I always thought this one was kind of overrated because it always ends on a draw. I'd say I like the Mario Party 2 version more because it's more... Bur the game just crashed. Well, we'll have to play the turnover, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so... 
Yeah, that was kind of... Well, I got a plus block, so, uh... Yeah, uh, we have to play that turn over. So, uh, yeah, that's the only downside of playing on 64 cards. But, uh, I didn't lose my 20 coins in chance time, so, uh... And he got the hopping space, so basically nothing changed in that bonus star ranking. So, uh... Yeah, it does kind of suck that, uh, the cartridge crashed, but, uh... I did- I deep cleaned this cartridge. This cartridge isn't really, like, in the best of shapes, but I did deep clean this part of the recording. I probably need to dust off my console, though. And what do you know? Another stick-rotating minigame. So, uh, this is the one that's been re-released on Mario Party, the top 100, and Mario Party Superstars, and... It's 3 versus one tug of war against the player. Yeah, this minigame basically got Nintendo in legal trouble, and I'm going to get a massive blister on my hand. No, we're losing, we're losing, we're losing, we're losing. Come on, do better! Yeah, that has a giant red rash on my hand. I, I find it easier when it's the one anyway, but uh, it's still... God. I have a giant red rash on my... I guess that's what I... That's the consequence of, the, of like, not losing 20 coins in chance time because the cartridge crashed, but, um... I'm gonna try to risk it. Is there any way I can get that star? Hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, or ten. Oh, there goes that. There goes that gamble. Now, Wario should get Bowser, so uh, I should be safe to get a star. But yeah, now you basically see why I set to save after return these older Mario parties. Anyway, so every time you pass Koopa Troopa, you get 10 coins. And also, if you're the 10th person to pass Koopa Troopa, you get a uh, you get 20 coins. And if it's the uh, last five turns, you get 20 coins. So you can technically get a free star in the last uh, chance time again. Alrighty, so I love how the default screen is I get 10 points to Peach, so uh, I guess that's my, uh... Wario, and the second contestant is none other than from the Mushroom Kingdom, Peach. And the next in the um, they're gonna squabble over 30 coins. Well, I guess that's on me giving 30 coins, so, uh... I'm hoping I don't reach Bowser before Wario does, because he rolled too low, though. I've been getting my fair share of bad rolls throughout this board, so, uh, I'm not the best at rolling, let's just say. Warp block. Well, I guess that's not the worst. Okay, I got a 2v2 minigame. I can take that. And it's Bobsled Run. Again, this is in Mario Party Superstars, so, uh, yeah, so I guess it's our first. Believe it or not, 2v2s are pretty rare in Mario Party 1, and there are only six 2v2 minigames, so, uh, you were playing eight boards, so there's a good chance we'll get them all. So yeah, this is a, I find this game a lot easier to play with the AI than it is to play with the uh, another human, but, uh... Now, uh, let's just say, um... I'm not the best at the Mario Party Superstars version, because sometimes I can just get the, uh, jump right here, but still fall off the platform because I hit the edge, so, uh, yeah. I also find the steering a little bit, like, more slip, more, like, uh, loose than the, uh, Mario Party 1 version, so, uh, yeah. Mario Party Superstars is a game I play often, though. Like, I've gotten all the achievements. So probably, uh, when Super Mario Party Jam Bree comes out, I'm gonna forget all about Mario... To be fair, when Super Mario, when Mario Party Superstars came out, I honestly... I forgot... I forgot all about, uh... Super Mario Party pretty quickly. That's how that game was. I like Mario Party Superstars, but Super Mario Party was just kinda average. It's definitely a step up over Mario Party 9 and 10, but, uh, I almost broke my record. Anyway, so... 
I mean, I get chance time again. Actually, let, we're gonna try a gamble. Let's try a little gamble. High risk, high reward. There, ever, somebody is going to squabble over a star, and uh, if I can plan this right... Alright. Oh yeah! Boom shakalaka! I can't believe I timed that right. So even if I get... I'm not gonna get Bowser either unless Wario gets a 1, so uh... That worked out! <laughs> Okay, I think I didn't get the happening, but uh, do not get a one. Do not get a one. Oh my god. Thank god I got the star then. Anyway, these are Bowser's faces. Now, um, they may fool you by thinking you get 1,000 point present, but it never shows up at Bowser's chance time. Which means more chance time, except some one person is giving coins. And uh, looks like... Um, and who is going to be giving coins? It's going to be none other than... Peach, what is she giving away? 30 coins! She has nothing, though! <laughs> and, uh... Not again! She's gonna get a chance time! I don't want to give that star. Anyway, so... The first contestant in Chance Simon is none other than Wario, and the second contestant of Chance Simon is none other than Peach, and the following is going to be given 20 coins. She doesn't even have any coins. That's two times now she's avoided having to lose coins. Okay. No crane game. Okay, it's not on there. I wrote Treachery again. That's the first repeat we've gotten. Anyway, so we're just gonna go. We're just gonna knock Wario off the uh. Yeah, I have the right angle too when you're bound, when you're uh, trying to get them off, but uh, sometimes the wind can also screw you, but uh. Okay, Wario definitely lasted longer than Peach did. He's gonna make it to the end. It's definitely hard to lose as the one in this, but, um... Yeah, he's gonna make it to the end. Oh, he didn't make it to the end! I got a good shot right there. A hundred and thirty-two coins. I am not looking forward to seeing Bowser. Well, unless I also get a one. Well, I roll a three, so yeah, I'm saying hi to Bowser. So yeah, Bowser is going to give you a Dark Star, which is actually called a Star with a Z, and make you uh, look how many coins you have to pay when you see Bowser. What? You see me so fake? That's not true. It's a real star. We got you 40 coins. Yeah, you lose 40 coins when you see Bowser, so that's why you want to avoid him at all costs. I'm not personally the biggest fan of Mario's Rainbow Castle. I'm hoping Superstars, no, Superstars, Super Mario, Mario Party Jamboree kind of fixes that problem. You don't have to pick 40 coins. And he gets a minus block, but he can't afford a star. Stop getting chance time! I, I, I like how it gives 10 points to myself. Anyway, so like, uh, it's like basically zero coins. Anyway, so, um,. First contestant is me, and the second contestant is Luigi. I'm gonna lose my star. <laughs> he doesn't even have a star, so, uh... Yeah, he doesn't even have a star, so I like how Mario just, like, breaks his neck because he didn't, Luigi doesn't have a star, but anyway. He's gonna get a star, and uh, he's gonna get another happening space. I know that for a fact. What number is this? I've been recording for about 40 minutes so far, so uh, we should be uh, almost done. 
These boards only can go for like an hour when it's 20 turns, but uh... I think I'm gonna try to see if I can steal a star though, because you can do that with Boo, so... Because Wario is definitely a threat because he's got the happening star, so uh, yeah, we're about halfway through this. Anyway, so Peach is going to get a one. <laughs> I like to be give more exciting content than like a look of one and stuff like that. Nobody wants to watch that for an hour, but uh, Mushroom Mix Up again. Yeah, it's the first board and we're already starting to see repeats, but uh, no joke. One time I actually played this uh, mini game with uh, someone who was colorblind and... I honestly really felt bad for him for that because, uh, yeah, it's like, for someone with that condition, if you get this mini game, it's like, it's, it just kind of sucks. But let's just say, um, which, who's gonna be the first one? I wish you could punch people if I could just punch people up, up into the water, but, uh, and, um, I think these minigames are more pretty too, it's Hexagon Heat, but uh, yeah, it's gonna get faster. So, uh, who's gonna go in the water and get dragged by bloopers? Maybe they'll all go in the water. Okay, only me and Luigi. And pink, fuck! Okay, I, I, ma I made that. You wanna stay in the black area so you know which platform to jump on. Okay, Luigi is a stubborn bastard. Luigi, how'd you make that? Oh my god, he didn't make that either. But yeah, we've definitely won a good majority of the minigames. We're in a good position. We have the coin star too. So last 10 turns, game's already half over, but um, I think I'm gonna try to see if I can go to Boo and uh, steal a star. So he's not gonna. Or he's gonna get a one. Don't involve me into this, but uh. Oh god, don't be Bowser Revolution. Yay! This divides coins! Yeah, so. My 118 coins are gonna go down like 60. 47, so I don't. I don't even have enough to steal a star, so uh. Yeah, that kind of foiled that plan right there. Well, Wario has the most coins, so I don't get screwed in Crane Game, but, uh... Please steal from Wario. Thank you. She just got, like... How many coins she got? She got, like, 13 coins. Anyway, so, um... Oh, God. I would uh, hope not for another repeat, but Shell Game... Shell game, you gotta guess the Cooper shell. Now I'm just gonna look at my phone and not actually pay attention to which one it is and just hope and just uh either laugh in Peach's face if they get it wrong, or uh what am I trying to say? Or cry if she gets it right. Hey, she got it wrong. I, I should have pressed A, but I, I guess that's what I get for look. I never look at my phone during recording, but when I have to watch an AI play a mini game, but uh. And pipe maze, so no stick rotating, thankfully. But uh, paddle bell would have been cigarette. This is another mini game you can you do absolutely nothing unless you're the one in this. So uh. Yeah, so I guess I can just, uh... Yeah, there's another one you can win by doing absolutely nothing, but, uh... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna basically, basically uh... Hope it goes to me. Come on, go, 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 go! Go, 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 go left, go left, go left! It's not going left. 
It's actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yay, I win this! I rarely win this. Finish. So yeah, that definitely makes up for the 90 coins that it's lost in Bowser Revolution, but uh... I'm not gonna steal a star again, but uh... Well, with ones, I'm gonna get more coins, so uh... He's gonna get a star, though, so uh... That's the second star he's got, so uh... Yeah. Even if I can steal a star, I'm probably gonna steal from Wario, because I'd say he's a bigger threat than Luigi. So yeah, every time you get a star, you it switches to Bowser, and you see Bowser switches to Toad, so just, I probably should have explained that, but, uh... Alright, 40 coins. I, I love how I'm saying the obvious, but, uh... Anyway, don't go for the red space. He's going for the red space. Well, he's not seeing Boo, so... Just no crane game. No crane game. I always, like, cry at the idea of crane game. It's not on there, thankfully. I would prefer Bass and Cash. But, uh, Piranha's Pursuit. It's hard to win as a three in this. This, this one also got remade in uh, Mario Party Superstars. So, uh, it, it, regardless of version, it's also hard to win as a three. So, uh... Anyway, so, um... Come on, do it in sync with me. Yeah, look at how far ahead he is. You gotta hope he basically uh, gets a uh, bad... Uh... Yeah, I hope he kind of fucks up and trips on something. Yeah, he's not gonna lose this. Oh my god. Yeah, he... It's hard to lose it. I've seen it happen before, but it's it's hard. As long as you're a good matcher, you're not going to lose the one player in this. And I just lost five coins. So, yeah. I wish I still had, like, a hundred-something coins so I could sell for more. Oh, my God. Screw that. I can't go for Boo now. I have to go with my backup plan because I just got screwed by a minus block. That's speed block, so, uh... He's gonna play a minute. Actually, no, he's not. Well, if Wario gets Bowser first, that'd be great. Well, if I make your second, at least, but, uh... I don't have the most good, so I can't cringe a crane game. We just got pipe maids, like, two turns ago. We're getting a hell of a lot of repeats also, but uh Anyway, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna not look. I guess uh you know, what is very exciting to say about this mini game? You just hope you win. You just if you're the one you just pick one and hope you win. And if you're the three, you just wait and see if you win or not. There's no strategy in this. I sw I swear to god, I hate Oh I won a second time! But, like, um, yeah, I don't, I'm not looking forward to playing some Mini Game Island either. Mini Game Island was the only practice I had playing, playing this. I wanted, to film as a, film as, I wanted to practice all the mini games first, but uh, I didn't practice any of the boards. I've not played any. I've not played more pretty one in general over a year. And some of the boards in this game I've not played in, like, actual years. So, uh, well, maybe aside from more pretty superstars, but, uh, But the last time I, like, actually sought out and unlocked all the boards was probably, like, uh... Maybe a little... Maybe, like, uh... We're looking at seven years ago, probably. Alright, so... I don't think I'm seeing... Uh, one of these videos got to see Bowser first. Well, Bumper Balls was the minigame the, the, the cart crashed on, so the cart cra The cart knew I thought it was overrated, so, uh... Platform Peril.
Anyway, so you just make it to the end, nothing special. I like this minigame a lot, actually. I like the Mario Party 2 version even more, but uh I don't I don't usually aim for the coins, I just try to make it to the end. I'll try I'll just get coins if they're in my path, but um And I I like when I fall off, but uh yeah, fortunately didn't fall off right there. So yeah, I've got my coin. I've gotten some of the coins back, but no, unfortunately not enough to. I have the coin star at least, but uh, I want to be closer to the star. I don't care if I get a red space. But uh, I'd be I'd be I'd be fine getting Crane Game again, to be honest. But uh, it's just one of these people getting a Bowser first, and he got exactly enough to get Bowser. So yeah, he's losing a good majority of his coins. Anyway, so we know it's a fake. It's a star. Oh, that's a that's an iconic piece of dialogue right there. So, uh, Wario was not voiced by Charles Martinet in this game. He was voiced by a, a German voice actor. So, uh, what Wario is actually saying is, so I missed, which is actually, oh crap, in German. So, uh, it's been widely misinterpreted as, a uh, do I missed. And, like, the interesting thing is that, uh, Charles Martinet claims it's do I missed. It's been proven he didn't voice Wario in this game, so, uh... Yeah, a little interesting trivia about that piece of dialogue. Anyway, so everyone, it's me and, uh, Coin Shark Flower, Coin Shark Flower. No, I'm stick rotating. Anyway, so I guess we'll, this is the second time I'm stick rotating so far, but I'm the one in this, so, uh... Pile the boat down the river with, a uh, control stick. Here we go. Oh, we got this, we got this, we got this. This minigame has caused so much damage to a lot of my N64 controllers over the years. But we're doing good. We've gotten like nine coins so far. No, I don't get I don't want I didn't want to get hit. Alright, back to nine coins. Well, I won that, so, uh, I mean, I think I got, like, nine coins. I did. Hey, last five turns, so, uh, yeah, game's already almost over. Anyways, so the current standings are, I'm first, Peach is second, Luigi's third, and Wario's last. And he think they think Luigi's gonna win, so, uh, this is actually a very close game that's gonna be the sign of the bonus star, so I'll give it that. All right, so what number do I need to get that? Actually, that gives me Bowser, so... I need lower than a seven. Thank you. He needs higher than a seven. Yay! I actually finally get a... I can finally get a star for once, and my CRT just lost signal again. So yeah, everyone's essentially, I think all Peach is the only one that hasn't seen Bowser. So, uh, I love the one star I have is not even legit. Like, I had it from chance time. Like, I have not bought a star legit at all in this round. So, uh, I should also point on the last five turns. Blue spaces are six coins you get, and red spaces are, uh, you lose six coins. He's playing a mini game, so it's gonna be... Thank God, not whack a plant. I do not. You want yourself to get whack a plant, but no AI getting whack a plant. But uh, do a limbo dance under all the limbo sticks. Now the AI like uh, 
are kind of hit or miss of this. I've seen 50% they win and 50% they lose. So Wario is going to... How the hell does he limbo like that? When you get to the red ones, you want to especially tap it, but like, uh, I think it depends on what kind of course to get, but it's like the easy course, the medium course. Yeah, he gets the harder version. He gets the harder course, so, uh. Yeah, he lost that. There's the so, there's the do I miss, which is actually so I miss, but, uh, yeah, it's a little interesting trivia about that bit that, uh, an old runaway guy's played through. It's actually made a meme. And she gets a speed block, so thank god she's not- Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, she's not getting a happy face. I don't want anyone getting a happy face on myself rolling too low. Tipsy Tourney! Classic Mario Party minigame. I love how, like, a good majority of Mario Party Superstars minigames are, like, all mini- Mostly minigames from 1 to 3. Which is not really- There's some GameCube era ones, but there's very few Wii era ones. There's only a couple I can think of from 9, only one I can think of from 10. I can do the couple in 10, so, uh, not that 9 or 10 are good games anyway. I almost lost that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm definitely past my prime with, uh, Tipsy Turn. <laughs> Let's just say, I'm good at the Superstars version, but Mario Party, Mario Party 1 in general, I might be, I might be winning, but I'm a little past my prime with this game. Okay, as nobody gets a happening space, I should I should be get a star. This game's gone out of its way to prevent me from getting a star. All right, do not get a one. Oh my! Oh wait, he still gets a happen. No, he went the other way. Thank God. Oh, that almost gave me a heart attack. This is a, this is a, let's just say a close game. It's gonna be decided, it's essentially gonna be decided by the bonus stars. Which, um, I'm pretty sure, I have point star, and I think I'm most likely minigame. Wario's happening though, so I think it's either gonna be me or Wario that ends up winning this. Like, if it's not me, it's Wario that wins this. Right, Luigi's out. If you, you don't have, either have to be the last one standing or last till the end. All right. If you get hit by the cannonballs, you're automatically out. So, uh, I do not like the idea of Wario also winning this, but uh, yeah, everyone but Luigi won this. Alright, so, well, if I get high enough rolls, I could also steal, sorry, right, anything but a one, just anything but a one or a two. Okay, I finally get a star, it's only, like, turn 17. Yeah. Yes, I want that star, I swear to God. Never, the only time I've ever played a Mario Party round said no, I do not want a star. One time I did a challenge where, like, uh, I had to play, like, a round of Mario Party 2. That's why I don't play Mario Party 2 also. I played a round of Mario Party 2 and I had to say no to every star, and I almost managed to win a board that way. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I should be in a good position to win this now, because, uh, I have the coin star, even... Even if Wario gets the uh, minigame star, which I don't think he has that, but even if someone else gets the minigame star, I still beat him in coins, so... Even if he steals a star from me also, I beat him in coins, which he wouldn't right there, so, uh... Even if he gets a hidden boo, I, I still beat him in coins, so... I'm now in a good position to win this, unless they're... Wait a minute. Oh, he gets a hidden Bowser! He wouldn't have had enough coins to steal a star, even if he didn't have a hidden boo. But Bowser takes 20 coins if you get a hidden Bowser. You have to buy these from the item shop, by the way. If they're good way to, one, one good way to actually grind coins in this is, just play, is like get put four controllers in the N64. Just play Minigame Stadium over and over again, which we'll get to Minigame Stadium eventually. I wanted hammer drops. Fuck you. 
But instead we get Box Mountain Man. I just like to wait and see if, when the coin bags appear. I'll grab a few, but um... I didn't get a single coin bag, and Wario got all the coin bags. Wario got a fuckload of coins in this minigame. I don't think I got much. I I don't know how I imagine how much Wario got. He got a ton. He got 20 coins. Yeah, so uh Even if he does get the minigame star though, I still beat him in coins as long as I don't lose my star. And I think Luigi is probably going to try to steal a star, so it's only a matter of time. Actually, next turn's last turn, so we have to get a wicked high roll to get Boo. So I should be in a good position to win this. And Peach is probably going to get Bowser. And it's going to be... Castaways. And I'm a stick retaining in the game. You flick the joystick, basically cast out, and uh... And on top of that, you basically rotate the control stick to reel it in, because Nintendo hates us. What we said, Nintendo has proven to hate their fans, that's a topic for a diff that's a different story. I was almost gonna say topic for another day. I'm not making drama content. I'm not like RTD. I'm not like RTD85 where I just kinda make cool content like that's just designed to like get clicks. Yeah, it's a little hard to time to get the, uh, it's a little hard to uh, time when to, uh, cash a reel, but, uh... I'm also playing with a little bit of, uh, a smaller screen, so uh, that's kind of giving me a disadvantage right there, so, uh, I thought I would have gotten that uh, chest. I'm not going to have enough time to get another one. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough time to reel that in. Finish. I got 20 coins at least, so, uh... I'd be interested in knowing what the bonus are. I think the only one I really know I have is coin. A lot, it's a high scoring mini in let's just say. He's actually <laughs> was closing on... She's not going to close in on the coin star, though, unless there's a chance time. And actually... I can do that, because it's the last turn. It is last turn. So, uh, do not get chance time. Okay. Okay, he's not gonna steal a star, but he's not gonna even happen to me either. So, uh, yeah, I'd say this game's definitely falling in place, uh, for me as the victor. He's not playing a mini game, so, uh, I do not get a chance time. Do not. Okay. She just lost all her coins. She just lost 40 coins, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I definitely won this now. Even if Wario gets the minigame star, I beat him in coins, so, uh, I think he's second in minigame star also, but, uh, even if he does get the minigame star, I still beat him in coins, so. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have minigame star because I did get whack -a plant so if I get the minigame star, that's probably the thing that gave me it. And she's playing a minigame. Another repeat, which is Ghost Cast. That's the first minigame we saw also, so uh, I guess it's fitting for this. Well, second to last minigame. We still have to play one more minigame. And she lost! Haha. Uh -huh. The ghost ate the princess. And she loses five points for getting eaten. That's a, definitely a price to pay. You have to pay a fee for getting eaten by ghosts. And it's the last mini game. Treasure Divers. It's a coin mini game. You just basically gotta get the chests. Dive in the sea and bring up the treasure chest from the bottom. And during the process, we have both bloopers and a, uh, sushi to avoid. I think they're called sushis, but, uh... Can you 
Can you imagine being like at the bottom of the ocean, like you have like squid and sharks circling you? That's a scary thought. I I, I probably shouldn't be too literal with these Mario Party mini games, but uh. Hey, getting hit by the blooper allowed me to get this bigger chest. Alright, so... Warrior's gonna drown! No! Get this. And... Peach is just gonna sink to the bottom of the ocean. And... Good luck drowning, Peach. Anyway, so I got 21 coins, so yeah. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I've won this. Anyway, so the person with the most stars is the winner, so let's take a look at everybody's stars. We can't be decided by stars, we must go to coins, so let's see how many coins everybody has. Every coin is like this, and I got 164 coins, and uh, we're announcing the Super Star, I'm holding out the winner of each award. These are winners that will receive bonus coins. The first is the Game Star, the, this award goes to the player who has the most coins in the mini games, and it's me. So yeah, I've definitely won this now, but uh... Coin Star, this award goes to the most coins throughout the game. Points are goes to Mario, which is, uh, me. So, uh, yeah, Wario's got the other one. So, uh, that's the happy star goes to the most happy star is Wario. We knew Wario. He was, I think he's the only one that ever got a hat in his face, also. Anyway, so. Now, our final announcement. Our winner, our superstar is... Mario! It is Mario. Congratulations, Mario, another star of the collector. What will happen on this board? Anyway, so uh, the star made the rainbow, and the star makes another rainbow. Anyway, so there's gonna be any humans cutscene also. Well, Mario, Wario, and Peach came up, and Luigi falls down because he came in last. <laughs> I got it. You are the superstar. So, uh, yeah. That was essentially decided. Well, I already had two stars, but uh, Luigi got last. Anyway, detail results. Uh, you can do the by present star, but uh, wow, uh, no one was even close on mini games. So uh, yeah, I had more than that, that by more than I thought I did. I knew Warrior was second on mini games, but uh, he just got close on the coins at the end. But all of them pulled through, and. Uh, yeah, Warrior was the only one that ever got a happy in space, so uh, we knew we had that one. So, uh, five chance times in total and two Bowser spaces. So, uh, yeah, so let's try the, uh, let's finally, let's test out the, the, whatever, the lucky machine. Yeah, we have double! Now, the stars in the bank aren't going to matter because I already have everything unlocked, but I will explain this more later, but, um... Anyway, so that's kind of it for Mario's Rainbow Castle, so tune in next Saturday when we play DK's Jungle Adventure. See you guys then.